What is up everyone, my name is Michael Pohl with Bay Area Aquatics and today we're going to be talking about how I am accidentally killing birds with my pond. Alright, so for those following along with the channel, you guys know that this is my 55 gallon patio pond. It's starting to get dirty, I need to get rid of all these spider webs and stuff here. But uh, the other day I was on my way kind of in and out from jobs, I'm self-employed, so I, I stopped by my house multiple times a day. and. Uh, I noticed something was floating in the pond and I wasn't quite sure what it was and I got over here and realized it was a bird. Um, I don't know what type of bird, it doesn't look like a hummingbird but it's about that size, um, kind of a small little sparrow or something like that and uh, didn't know exactly how it got there. You know, I got this pond because I wanted to like, create life and, and nurture life, not because I'm wanting to kill it, um, but I've also never had a pond before so I've never had any sort of like uh, issue with this in the past. Um, I posted in a Facebook group, uh, Fish Tank Enablers on Facebook, if any of you guys are in that, I'm in there too. And uh, a bunch of people said that a couple of things is that the pond with the, the tub liner style, the storage tote that I used for it, basically it's too smooth and I don't have anything in it at the moment. I haven't added any driftwood or rocks or anything like that. I've just got a little bit of gravel in the bottom. And when a bird gets in, it has trouble getting back out because there's nothing to like climb onto after it's in the water. Well, obviously that's an issue. I, uh, I don't want to be pulling dead birds out of my pond constantly. And so that's kind of what, uh, what I think the solution is going to be is I'm going to, uh, I got some driftwood that I think I'm going to be adding to this tank here. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't want this video to be super long. It's just kind of something I haven't experienced before. Um, and so the possibilities that I had were kind of one, it drowned. Um, two, maybe it had something like a, a virus or a parasite or something like that and just so happened to. Um, there's also cats in my household. And so I was thinking maybe one of my cats got it um, or dropped it or tried to get it and it knocked in and drowned or something like that. But uh, yeah. So I just, I haven't heard of anything like this. I haven't seen anything posted anywhere about anything like this. And I just I didn't even know that was an issue. Didn't know it was something I was gonna have to watch out for. Um, talking to people, they've done everything from like vinyl webbing in it to like building an actual wooden bridge that just kind of ramps up like a turtle ramp, but to the outside. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try some driftwood and some rocks and have it kind of sticking out of the top so that they can kind of swim over to it and just climb up and lift off hopefully. Um, but Hopefully I don't find any more dead birds in my pond. And I thought it was just something interesting um, and you know, didn't necessarily warrant a full studio setup or anything like that. But I wanted to go ahead and hop on here real quick and point it out and ask if any of you guys have had any sort of problems like this. Um, like I said, this is my first pond, so I haven't, haven't really experienced much with it yet. It's only been up for like three weeks now. And so, yep. So let me know if you guys have had any issues like this. How did you solve it? Um, you know, was it often? Was it, like I said, it's been up for a couple of weeks and this was my first one um, and I haven't put anything in it for like two days yet. So, uh, you know, I haven't had another one. I don't think it's a super common thing here, but talking to some people, they were saying it was like every couple of days for them until, um, until they fixed it. So I'm curious on, you know, if that was what you guys found was an issue, if you knew this was an issue, um, how you fixed it, what you've got in yours, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I try to post stuff all the time. And if you're new here, hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.